Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever in the world you may be. Today we're looking at my Chanel collectibles, the bags that are just, well, too nice to use. I bought them all in pristine condition and, you know, with my OCD and everything, I just, I really want them to stay that way. Also, I have plenty of bags. I mean, there is never a shortage of a bag to use in this house. The first one today is this beautiful little Gabrielle Hobo. Excuse me while I read from my notes, but this is a Chanel Gabrielle small hobo shoulder bag in quilted iridescent purple lambskin and calfskin with rainbow mermaid hardware 2017. And she is absolutely delightful. I'll show you her close up. She is stunning. I hope you can see the light on her there. I'm assuming the top feels like lambskin and I think it's calfskin that's over the moulded bottom part of the bag. She's in immaculate condition. And the hardware is just best way to show you. The colours in the hardware are just delicious. Absolutely stunning. Every time I get this bag out of the cupboard to have a look at it, I just, it takes my breath away. Seriously. It's just beautiful. It has the um, mermaid coloured chain there for the zip pull. It's a little bit fiddly to get in and out of the bag and I do have a small organiser in here just so it keeps the shape. Oh, there we go. And it's, it's pulled out the inevitable um, little strap and lobster clasp which is also can you see it the different coloured hardware and the ring here it's gorgeous I love all these little details I would try and show you and I don't know if you'll be able to see inside but there are there are two small slip pockets this side. I don't really want to pull the bag open too much, but there and there. And on the other side is a zip pocket. Now, if you want to buy a Gabrielle, I mean, they're, they're no longer made. I think they stopped making them two years ago, I'm pretty sure it was two years ago. Try and get a chevron one because they hold their shape better at the top. The quilted ones like this, especially if you're in the habit of putting your chains, I hate doing this to the bag, but I have seen some people store them like that with all the chains on top the bag will of course inevitably sag. Now if you get the chevron ones it will keep its shape much much better. Whoops we're getting in a, in a tangle here. Okay just pop the bag organizer back in. It's just such, oh this, this color is just delightful. It really is. I mean, purple is my favourite colour anyway. And the iridescence. Oh, Chanel do it so well. I mean, you know, you sort of, if you're anything like me, I have a love-hate relationship with Chanel. You know, I love this. I absolutely adore this and lots of their other bags. But the prices, oh, honestly, come on, really? You know, 
I, I hate it when prices are so high that so many people can't afford a good bag, you know? And as I said in my last video, these, these bags bring me such joy that I just, I think it's a shame that so many people are excluded from that now. You know, Chanel just wants to sell to, you know, the VIP customers. Well, that's fine because I shall continue buying pre-loved because I, I won't be going into a Chanel boutique again unless they lower their prices. That would be funny, wouldn't it, really? Anyway, that is my small Gabrielle Hobo shoulder bag. Just beautiful. And next is another gorgeous bag. I'll just fetch her. Okay, now this second bag is in the same iridescent finish as the small Gabrielle, but this time it's a boy bag. And it's in the old medium size in goat skin. It has the same beautiful multicolored hardware. And this was 2016C, so Cruise Collection. And that chain is just everything. I do hope that the lights are doing this justice. You can see it reflecting beautifully on the bag. The clasp is multicolored as well. It's so gorgeous. The G word, I said it again. Look at that. Just wow. It really is a wow, this bag. I mean, words fail me. Some people would say, oh, it's just a bag. To me, it's so much more than just a bag. This is something really special. Now this hadn't been used when I bought her and you can see by how stiff the, the flap is to open. Um, let's, let's take that out. Is the inside and if you don't mind I really don't want to bend the flap back too much to put creases in her but she has a single slip pocket at the back and that is all just one pocket having tr trouble with my chains here. So if you were going to use her, you could carry her just like this. Or you could put her on your shoulder like that. It's a little bit long for me. You can see how beautiful the leather is. It is exquisite. You have to be really careful storing the boy bags because, because of the corners, because it literally sits on those four corners because they protrude, as you can see from the side there. So I actually keep this in its box um, with the original felt wrapping and I take it out of the box every couple of months to air it. I might get another bag hanger to hang it on. But at the moment, I'm out of cupboard space. So there she is in all her glory. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. And I think that's the first time I've actually stood her up on a hard surface. The next bag is interesting. I'll get it for you. Okay, so this one I bought from a consignment store. It's brand new 
And this is a collector's dream because it comes in the box. with the little care booklets in the little Chanel folder. It has the swing tags from Chanel. And it has the beautiful, beautiful dust bag. It reveals a beautiful blue. Now, this one, excuse me, I have to consult my notes again. I just, I can't remember all of this. It's debatable whether this is a bag or an SLG. Even Chanel seemed to have trouble deciding. Because on the front of this tag, it says clutch with chain. On the back, it says small leather good. So take from that what you will. I think, personally, it's a wallet on chain. I love the chevron design. It's just, it's a nice change from the quilting. And this colour is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous lambskin, it is so soft. And the contrast with the gold hardware. Just love it. I really do. Never been used. Never will be used for as long as I have it anyway. It still has the little, oops, the little cards in the back where the credit cards go. I don't know if you can see them down here. It has a zip compartment there and there's also a pocket in the front with more credit card compartments so you could put three, four, you can put four in the back, four there, you can put eight credit cards in and there she is just beautiful. little bit long for me again. You know, it'd be okay as a crossbody bag on me, but I don't particularly like crossbody bags. I'd prefer to hold something like this just like that, you know, with a chain. The colour is just, it's almost a cobalt blue. It's really delicious. And the chevron design, I love it. I was so delighted to get this bag. I mean, it, it is a collector's dream. When you find something like this with everything, you know, the tags, the dust bag, the, the felt that went over the bag to protect it, you know, everything, just wow. It's a huge favourite, this bag. This is one that I will never, ever part with. In fact, the only Chanel bag that I've ever sold, I mentioned in one of the handbag videos that I said handbags that I'm selling, which will be up here or up there somewhere. And that was a Chanel, that was another chevron actually. That was a burgundy colour shoulder bag. And that's now at the consignment store waiting to go to a new home and I hope it finds a good one. So now I'll show you the last bag for today. Anyway, there are more. Okay, so the last of my special collectibles, well, no, actually it's not the last, there is one more. But I'll show you that tomorrow, at the beginning of the video. The last one is mini rectangular in iridescent purple lambskin with ruthenium hardware in immaculate condition 2022. 
and there she is. An absolute stunner. Just perfect. It's this colour again, you know? I mean, I just anything in this iridescent purple. I just, I have to get it. I really do. I would actually use this bag if it wasn't for one problem. And that is the length. I mean, you know, my waist is here, hips there, bag there. Now, I did buy a couple of little gadgets where you can actually shorten the chain, but you put them on underneath here and what it does is it pulls the two chains together. Whoops. Sorry, I did a terrible job of this. Pulls the two chains together like that. My issue with that is once you put the flap down, you're going to get indentations of that in the leather here, which I don't want. So I'm quite happy to admire her. I mean, I have other smaller bags that I can use. And unless I grow another six inches or so, she will remain a collectible, not to be used bag. So, those are all of my special bags today. I hope you enjoyed seeing them. I certainly enjoyed sharing them. I think when you have a collection of nice things, it's good to share it with people. Um, the odd person might think it's showing off. It isn't. It, it's, just, it's just wanting to share with others something that you love. But, you know, some people will see it one way, some people will see it another. I hope you see my intentions, which are just to share beautiful things that I have with you so that you can enjoy them too. And after that, I think all I can say is, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I would really, really appreciate it. And as always, I'll say a bientôt mes amis, au revoir. Eh? Bonsoir. Most beautiful Chanel, but no, start again. With rainbow mermaid hardware. I'll start that again. It's a Chanel Gabrielle small hope. Try that again. I love the Chanel design that they say that again. Sorry.